Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we're continuing our little hover effects series here and we've got some little images here, round images. When you hover over they're going to go to colour and there's going to be an underline appear under the title underneath there. Great for a little restaurant theme or anything else you may have in mind. Really easy to do. To do this today we're using a bit of code from CodePen, but don't let the code put you off. It's really easy and I'll take you through it step by step. Today has been supplied by Som Shakir Mukherjee. I apologize if I said your name wrong, but thank you for the code today. Okay, well let's get started. First thing I'll do is enable my Visual Builder. Once loaded, let's go down to where we want to work. I'm going to add a new section right here, make it a regular section. Before I put anything else in there, I'm just going to close that out and delete the section on top. And in here, I'm going to put a row with three columns. Of course, you put in exactly what you want to put in with your row. Now, I'm going to use a code module for this today. Divi comes as standard with all these modules, plenty enough to build just about any site. But we're just going to use the little code module for this today. Now we can go over to CodePen. And on the left hand side here, we've got the HTML. So we want to select all of this and copy it. We're going to make some changes um, to the class name and of course what it says, unless you're displaying an image of a butterfly. But we'll do that as we go along. So I've selected and copied Control C all of this HTML here. I'm going to go back and just paste it Control V into my code module right there. And there it is little butterfly picture and the word butterfly underneath. Okay, it doesn't quite look like the other one, but that's okay. That's because we haven't added the style yet. So what we need to do is drop down and I've got to open some style tags. So we've got a, a left pointy bracket, the word style, S-T-Y-L-E, and a right pointy bracket. Hit the return and it separates the open and closing tags there. And in between, we can put any CSS we've got. Now, if we go over here, here we've got some CSS. If we look down, make sure we do want all of it. We do. Now, the thing that's worrying me slightly about this code is they're using, don't need the body at the bottom there because we've got our own body, is they're using the class of container. So I might change that and change all these classes over here because I don't want it affecting any of our other containers. But for the time being, I'm going to select it all. If you want to import the font they're using to get that top one with the Google font, I don't want the body at the bottom there. If you want to use their font, like I say, use that. Otherwise, it's going to default to the font, the default font for Divi itself, which is fine. So I'm going to copy all of that. Control C, apart from that bit at the bottom that said body, because we've got our own body. I'm going to go back and paste it between those style tags there. Okay, well that's actually worked quite well, but the trouble is it's actually changed all of our images here, which I was worried about. Any other images on the site that are in a container are going to be affected. So I'm going to change a bit of this code here and I'll zoom in while I do it so you can see where I'm going. Let's make this a little bit wider so we can see everything that's going on here. This class up here of container, I'm going to change this to IMRD for image round. It's my kind of shorthand. You can call yours what you want, but it's got to make sense. I-M-R-D. Okay. So that's broken everything because everything that should have said container in front of it now says I-M-R-D. So we've got to change all these containers to our new class name now. So everywhere it says container, I-M-R-D. So I'm going to copy this with a dot now. And everywhere I see container, control C to copy. I'm going to select it and paste it. So I'm replacing container with IMRD everywhere that it says container, which is about four or five spots, I think. Roll them down, just make sure we not missed any. There's one on the bottom there. Great. Now, as you can see, our image has gone back to normal up there. So we fixed that little error or debugged it, if you will. And this is working. This is a little invisible because we've got a white background and we're using white text here. Now you can change the actual text color itself in the CSS here if you want to. 
here's the color itself you can either just click on it and pull up a color picture and put it whatever color you want I'm going to leave mine just as it is for a moment because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dark background on this so if you didn't see that that's in the title and it's the color right there and you can just click on it and make it whatever color you want okay let's just say this for a second I'm going to go into my section and give it a dark type background so we can see what's going on better like I say if you want a light background just change your text color so I'm going to go into section I'm going to go down to background I'm going to put a gradient in there and we'll use that blue and let's just pop a darker color let's just put a black in the bottom there we go that's standing out nicely now when we hover over it's actually working but the underlines too close to the word butterfly there so I just want to adjust that a little bit so we go back in there so we can go in and find that if we roll down that's going to be the after I believe here it is title after there's the height bottom minus 10 pixels so that's there let's make it minus 20 That's okay, I think I might add a few more. Oh, about 25. I want it so it's not touching the F there. That's fine. Great. That works perfectly for me. Now, of course, I don't want it to be a butterfly. I don't want it to say butterfly. I want it to be something from my site. So I'm going to go to my dashboard. I'm going to find an image. So I'm going to go dashboard, media library. And we'll find the image we want. Let's just grab that one right there. Here you'll find the file URL. Hit the copy URL to clipboard or select it and copy it, whichever you prefer. We can go back now and we can replace this image URL with that butterfly image URL that's up there, which is this. They've got it from Unsplash. Just make sure you don't clip off the inverted commas right there at the end and the beginning and paste the image URL in there. And there we go. We've got our picture of our steak now, but we don't want it to say butterfly. And that's the white writing right here. We want it to say steak or whatever that is. I think it's a steak. Great. And that's doing everything we want to. So really now we just need to rinse and repeat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this block, little two squares there, and drag one over. Doesn't matter which one because they're both identical. I'm going to go into this one. And I remember I got another picture in there that says stir fry, that's of stir fry or something like that. So let's see that. Let's find our new picture back to our media library. Close this one down. There's the stir fry pick. Again, copy the URL back to the site. And we can replace that again. Again, being careful not to lop off the inverted commas beginning and end there. Let's move this so we can see what's going on. There we go. We've got our stir fry there. Probably make this a bit smaller now. And we'll rinse and repeat again. I'm just going to save that. We'll hit the clone button. Drag it over one more time. This would also work well for a member section or something like that. Like I say, there's a lot of applications for this. Let's go get our new picture. Got some salmon right there copy to clipboard back we go go in there and paste this one in being careful not to lop off those inverted commas again and we want this one to say salmon or salmon there we go we should be good to go I think I might like to make that section slightly wider so let's just add a little more padding top and bottom I'm going into the section the blue tab that was up there to the design to the spacing and let's Give it a hundred top and bottom. Just put in the hundred. It'll put in the picks for you. Hit the chain. It'll do the opposite side. Perfect. I think that works for me. Great. Well, let's see it on the other end. Make sure it's all going to work. Save our changes here. We'll save the page changes. And exit the visual builder. And there we go. We've got our nice little image underline hover effect going on there really easy to do obviously I'll put this below the video for anybody that needs to use it but that's a nice little effect to have on your site and like I say you can do that on all kinds of different things so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel
Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.